Hey, how are you? This is Dave, and I am the old man on a bike. I'm standing down here in Old Lyme, Connecticut right now. Uh, I just started off and uh, looked for a shady tree, and I found one right in the middle of town. And we're going to be heading down to the beach, and I'm in search of some lemon ice. And it's just going to be a nice, uh, hot August day in uh, Connecticut, riding along the shoreline. So. Uh, Glad to have you with me and uh, stand by. Here we go. Woohoo! Right here we have a we have an ancient Ford Fairlane. Beautiful car. Wow! The sound of that car. So I'm gonna leave the camera on as I. Uh, as I go down here through Old Lyme, it's a beautiful town. Very windy today. I hope this microphone works in the wind. Okay, and here is our ice cream shop. So look at those little chairs sitting out front. I can just picture myself sitting in one of those chairs. I guess you could call this a quintessential New England, New England town. And it's not a New England town if you don't have a New England church. Yeah. Hey, earlier in the year I did a ride down in this area and I came across a stone wall that was under construction. Uh, I'm standing at the stone wall now uh, I'm going to take off here in a minute and I will uh, give you a visual video of the stone wall as completed. The guy looks like he did a great job. He's a real artist. So once again, call me crazy. I love stone walls. Nice job. Took a lot of work. Ooh, and he continued over to the other side as well. What better place to see the mouth of the Connecticut River than the uh, Great Island boat ramp? So we're gonna go down here and uh, we're gonna see what we can see. Talk about stone walls. There's another one, it's beautiful. This is a little dead end road. The people at one point, they pitched a fit because the boat, the boat launch was down at the end of their road and they had all this, all these riffraff people coming in by their opulent homes. You can see the homes here. They're gorgeous.
Talk about beautiful homes. Gorgeous. down here at the public launch looking uh, out into the marshlands at the mouth of the Connecticut River hey how are you I'm riding back to the main road this was a nice quiet little interlude in, in a nice neighborhood down here an old line went down to the water but uh, we're going down to the beach right now I'm gonna try to get some lemon ice I, I, you know, if you're from another part of the country and haven't had real Italian lemon ice, then <laughs> you're missing out on a treat. A lot of sugar, a lot of lemon, and just some nice compacted snow. So, you can see it. That's a nice property right there. Nice property. All right, next stop, I think, unless I see something very interesting, next stop will be the beach. See you later. So this is why this bike ride is so slow. I, ha I haven't gone five miles yet for crying out loud. And you come across things that you've never seen before. As often as I've been down in this area, I've never seen this little pretty and very old to the point where I can't read what's on the stone. Very old cemetery. Mary, she died 1883. This looks like a family cemetery, but it certainly is not posted keep out no trespassing private, so I'm just taking advantage of this. Pretty little interlude. This must be a veteran, they've got a flag, but it doesn't say what Calvin, what branch of service Calvin was in back in uh, 1876. Oop. This flag's on the ground, that's not supposed to be on the ground. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Uh, nope, we can't. Mm -hmm. We will put it up here. So, a nice little break, one of many. <laughs> Just leaving the graveyard now, getting on what's called Old Shore Drive. And if you want any evidence, there's the shore. The beaches are right up the way a bit.
I'm going to take your picture getting me some lemon ice. Oh, nice. I rode 10 miles to get your lemon ice. Nice. <laughs> what would you like? I would like a regular uh, small squeeze cup, please. Of uh, lemon? Lemon. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Say goodbye. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Leaving the beach. Going home. And of course, this used to be an ethnic getaway spot for mostly Italians, and those were bocce courts. Old cottages, they've been here since the 50s at least, if not before. Well, <laughs> color me happy. I've had my... I've had my lemon ice. So I usually go back a uh, another way with uh, nice country views, but uh, I've got to go. I've got to go do some things this afternoon, so I'm going to take the uh, more direct way back on the main road. So I will uh, fire this up as I go into Old Lime, and I'll give you a proper goodbye. But uh, the lemon ice was great. The beach was great. It's uh, sunny. It's a little warm, but very breezy. Very, very breezy. And I'm riding right into a headwind right now. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a good day for, for a short, short ride on a bike and a lot of picture taking and videos. So I'll check in again before I leave. But uh, until then, see ya. tell by the flags these people here are patriotic so time to say goodbye the bike ride's almost over I'm about uh, five minutes from the car and uh, as usual I really really enjoyed having you to talk to while I was out here and showing you little side trips that were newly discovered for me and of course you and uh, old lime it's just a beautiful beautiful part of the world up here in Connecticut flowers for two dollars a bunch holy cow they have a volunteer fire department they have a volunteer ambulance typical small town New England Over my head there is a beautiful little wrought iron fence and gate. And we're coming up on the overpass to Interstate 95. And after that there's a light. And I need to be aware because it's very trafficy at this intersection. So this is Dave, the old man on a bike feeling old today because of the crick in my neck, the pain in my knees, but I've got joy in my heart because I went for a bike ride, short and sweet. 
Have a great, great day. See you out on the road.